The zebra used to inhabit most of Africa's territory, but the number of these animals has dropped dramatically over the past century. Different species of zebra have different conservation statuses. The plains zebra is not endangered, the mountain zebra is considered vulnerable, and the grevy zebra is endangered. The main reasons for a significant drop in zebra population are hunting and loss of suitable habitat due to farming expansion. The number of farms is constantly growing, so wild animals have to compete with livestock and farmers who use lands for agricultural needs. Apart from competing for water with livestock, droughts also force zebras to congregate at remaining water sources, increasing the incidence of disease transmission. Zebras are very social animals and live in large groups called harems. These groups have a strict hierarchy and consist of a stallion, up to six mares, and their young. During the migration periods, the harems come together to form large herds that can cover hundreds of miles in Kenya, South Africa, and Tanzania in search of better pastures and sources of water. In order to let most of the herds get some rest, Several zebras stand on guard and warn others in case of danger. Guards get a chance to rest a bit here, too. Just like horses, zebras have the ability to sleep in the standing position. If they spot a predator, they will bark or whinny loudly to warn the other zebras. Sometimes the role of the guards is performed by neighboring animals. For example, ostriches that have better eyesight can warn them about potential dangers. If a zebra is attacked, its family will come to its defense, circling the wounded animal and attempting to drive off predators. Although most scientists have not agreed on the actual purpose of stripes for zebras, there are several good guesses. Stripes serve as camouflage. When zebras gather in large groups, the hundreds of stripes distract predators, and they cannot concentrate on just one victim in the herd. Another theory is that zebra stripes make it unattractive to smaller predators, such as blood-sucking horseflies, which can carry various diseases. In addition, the stripes may work as a natural sunscreen. But the stripes don't seem to scare away all the insects. That is why zebras, just like horses, engage in a very unusual activity. They roll on the ground. Dirt and dust that collects on the body creates an extra layer that seems to protect them from annoying insects. A newborn foal of a plains zebra needs just a few hours to gain enough strength to start running and jumping. But mares generally keep all other zebras away for two to three days until her foal recognizes her by sight, voice, and smell. Young foals always try to stay close to their mothers. Zebras become fully mature at three to six years old and will have a lifespan of around 25 years. Zebras are herbivorous animals. They primarily eat grasses, shrubs, herbs, twigs, leaves, and bark. Zebras often migrate in search of food and water, and that is why they may be found in a variety of habitats. Grasslands, savannas, woodlands, thorny scrublands, mountains, and coastal hills. Tanzania and Kenya are home to the annual migration of animals that inhabit the savannas. The largest terrestrial mammal migration in the world lasts from January to March. In this time frame, over 1.5 million zebras, gazelles, and wildebeests gather in enormous groups and move thousands of miles to different pastures, which have plenty of rain-ripened grass. They gather in large herds in order to cover long distances safely. Frequent migrations positively reflects on these animals' endurance and durability. 
They also help to acquire various features that help zebras survive in difficult conditions in the wilds of Africa. Water is one thing that zebras depend on a lot. They can't go for long without water, so they prefer to settle near water sources where they can drink at least once a day. Although zebras are not as fast as horses, they can still run at speeds close to 35 miles per hour and are known for their incredible endurance. So, in case of a predator attack, zebras follow one of such scenarios. They either try to run away in a zigzag pattern or use their sharp teeth and powerful feet to defend themselves or other members of the herd. The defensive kick of a zebra can be powerful enough to cause serious injury to any predator. Zebras communicate with facial expressions and sounds. Facial expressions such as wide open eyes or bared teeth all mean something. Nighttime vision doesn't belong to zebra's strong points, so at night, these animals recognize their family group by exchanging various vocalizations. They bark, bray, snort, or huff to get their point across. The position of their ears can also signal their feelings. For example, ears flattened back means trouble. Another habit of zebras is mutual grooming, which they do to strengthen their bonds with each other. Contrary to popular belief, zebras are actually black animals with white stripes. Scientists have come to this conclusion after analyzing zebras at the embryonic stage of their development. Every stripe pattern is unique, and zebras memorize the patterns of their close relatives for life. It is believed that a foal can distinguish its mother by her unique stripe pattern, which can be compared to human fingerprints. Zebra foals are born with brown and white stripes as opposed to black and white stripes of adults. The plain zebra, grevy zebra, and mountain zebra are three generally accepted species of zebras that are differentiated mainly by the structure of their skulls and the stripe patterns. A special scientific project in South Africa has started a so-called breeding back process that is aimed at recovering the quagga, a subspecies of zebra that became extinct in the late 19th century. Plains zebras are the most widespread species. These animals may be found across the continent, but more commonly in the savannas from Sudan to northern Zimbabwe in eastern Africa where there is an abundance of grass and water. The shoulder height of the plains zebra can reach 4.8 feet, while their weight can be close to 770 pounds. Grevy's zebras are mostly restricted to parts of northern Kenya and prefer areas covered by shrubs and grass. It is the largest of all zebras, weighing up to 990 pounds and is around 5 feet tall from shoulder to hoof. Their thick bodies make them look like mules with stripes. Mountain zebras choose to stay in the mountainous terrain of dry African countries such as Angola, Namibia, and South Africa. The mountain zebra has vertical stripes on its neck and torso, but horizontal stripes on its haunches. Mountain zebras grow up to 4.9 feet high and weigh close to 820 pounds. These animals are known to breed well in captivity, but cannot be tamed. Although some individual zebras have been domesticated, most cannot. They are unpredictable and known to attack people.